what I text and what you hear. And this is because the meaning of the text is determined by the reader. Each and every reader is different. There can be differences in cultural background and we have seen that. The experiences, education, age, gender, and so on and so forth. Everyone reads texts or emails differently and we make unique interpretation of a text. The real meaning of your message, the one that you're trying to, to portray to send, gets lost through the medium. So let's ask why. Let's talk about it in detail. Please watch this video until the end. Welcome to Sharmina's channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Whether you use Nokia, Blackberry, iPhones, emails, any devices that you can use, these devices cannot translate emotions, hence the misunderstanding and miscommunication. Texting is the fastest way to communicate. However, it gets lost. It leads to misunderstanding. It can take hours to undo the damage caused. And that's text. So let us talk about a few things. Expectations in detail. Number one. The problem with texting is expectations. First and the foremost expectation is to respond ASAP. The delay triggers misunderstanding. In my previous video, I touched on expectation when I was talking about the WhatsApp. It was completely different, but almost the same. Expectation number two. The second expectation is we want people to respond the way we write. And the example is if we put a lot of effort, thought, and send a perfect text with emojis and whatever it may be. And if a person we send to replies with K, yeah, sure then the positive emotions changes to anger in a matter of seconds. You will tell yourself, I spent a lot of time to send such a nice text and all I get is sure, K. And the third one, people who understand grammar, like you, you are, you're very well aware of the grammar, punctuations, is perfect vocabulary but the misunderstandings occur from people who don't understand that let's say for example if they use expl exclamation points <clears throat> or if they are in caps uppercase oh my god if that person sends you stuff anything to do with something that's not what you expect or not what you know or, or you know but they don't because you are tech savvy and they are not that gets read completely differently so why do people misinterpret that so frequently because human have a tendency to assume the worst when the intent of communication wasn't clear and that's why they expect the worst. Many communication barriers and misinterpretations happen because we doubt the message, the sender's message, the sender's intentions. Why don't we always assume the sender was in a good mood 
was in a happy mood when he sent the text. It's nothing negative. You received it, but he was happy or she was happy. When texting, a small thing can turn into a huge misunderstanding. Let's say someone texts to say, how are you? But it was after a very long time. So you reply, good. Because you like sending short texts and the person is into long texts. Now that doesn't mean everyone is like you. But that good can be interpreted completely differently. We send and receive messages, but they are completely misinterpreted because we don't have the facial expression, hence the emojis. Just a thought-provoking question. Ask yourself, has this amazing technology brought us closer, brought you and I closer with your loved ones, or did it create a distance? We have the technology. Smartphones, like anything else, are double edged sword. The way we use it defines how it affects us. Most talked about the downside to constantly being attached to a call, to a cell phone is called fubbing, phone snubbing. I'm sure you must have heard phone strumbing. Smartphones are powerful mind and mood altering devices. This can be very addictive. Let's say in the absence of mobiles and smartphones, we never used to have that. Those era, people were bound to meet in person. Remember those days? I still remember those days when we used to visit people in person just to say hello. We used to visit them, having great chat, laughter, have tea, spend quality time However, things have changed because of the technology. We're in such an era now that even people living in the same house don't have time for each other. We actually don't. Cell phones connect us to people far away, but distance us from the ones right in front of us and that's a fact then that is something we've been experiencing for a very long time because we're trying to connect with people who are really far but we forget about the people around us meal together I'm sure each and every one of us have noticed something awkward. We've seen people in the restaurants, a family of four or six, all outside to have a nice time, a nice meal. Yet, you will see everybody in their separate device. And then you would wonder, what was the point of having this dinner together because you're trying to connect with people who are not there but unknowingly unintentionally you are disregarding or distancing from people who are already there you know life is short it's very short and the only thing I always talk about is building memory. Build memory today at this time. Because you can't change your past. You cannot see your future. 
but you have the present to make the best of your life in the present moment that you have and you want to spend time with your loved ones with your near and dear ones because that time will not come back the moment is what we want to treasure i mean it's okay to do the facebook and instagram and whatever it may be um checking that unless you're an ER doctor on call or um, firefighter on call, why would you need your cell phone when you're just sitting in a dining table to talk to the host or to your family or to your friends or to whoever? Why would you need a cell phone? So the question is, using a cell phone is the best way of communicating are we using it wisely are we using it for the intention it is there for are we making the best effort to be with our near and dear ones knowing that this time this moment is what we need we have forgotten to make that effort that extra effort to either use a phone call to say hello or even meet in person and I understand I mean we're not talking about the pandemic days but what if everything was just back to normal so let's ask that let's ask ourselves are we really spending quality time with our near and dear ones until then Stay strong, stay safe, and stay happy. Don't forget to subscribe to Shermina's channel. Until next time. Goodbye for now.